All right, foresters, we're here. We're going about to cook the Cornish cross that we processed yesterday. We got a one of the smaller birds, not the smallest, but one of the smaller birds that we are going to roast in the oven today. Um, we also have sweet potatoes that I'm going to toss with salt, pepper, and a little olive oil. And we have corn on the cob boiling back there on the stove. Um, now, I'm going to season the chicken. I got a bay leaf that I'm going to put right inside of it. And I have, you can see right here, this is uh, my butter, olive oil, and herb mixture. And it has... Moringa, curry, rosemary, oregano, Cuban oregano, basil, dill, sage, and thyme. Chopped up, mixed in. So, and what I do is I just make a paste on that. And we'll put a little bit on the chicken and just smear it around. The olive oil and the uh, uh, butter will give it a nice brown. You can put some inside. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to smear this all around in here. Get it all tasty. Get this all up in this. We're putting the lotion on. <laughs> We got the chicken dressed. Now we're just going to take the sweet potatoes and I'm going to put some fresh cracked pepper. Salt. olive oil and just give that a good tossing mix all those get a nice coating now this is going to be delicious and we just put these Round. Get this chicken nice and cozy with it. All right. Now the olive oil is going to make these potatoes brown up nice and delicious so uh, we're going to put this in the oven and uh, we'll bring you the taste test what's the temperature of the oven 400 degrees for how long uh, until the, it's done <laughs> and guys just this alone it smells so good I'm like I want to nibble on it now but I know I can't <laughs> oh. What I also forgot in there is I have garlic in the uh, the herbs. All the herbs except for the garlic came out of our garden. All right. Okay guys, here's the final product. All cooked. Smells so good. And then over here we got corn on the cob. We're ready to go. Taste test to follow. Alright, we're uh, about ready to give the Cornish Cross a taste. Mm -hmm. 
and um, we'll see what we think of it. Try a little bit of the white meat first. This looks good. Oh, my. I'm this. just falling apart. <laughs> Juicy, tender. Mm -hmm. Mom's got a wing. <laughs> wow, it's got more of a an earthy taste to it. Yeah, I mean it, it's it's not bland like mm -hmm. normal chicken breast you buy in the store. Well, your chicken breasts aren't bland, anyways. <laughs> well, I mean the actual meat itself, the, the chicken flavor. Yeah. The ch it has more of a chicken flavor because it it was able to get to the bugs and grass and everything else. It just didn't eat corn, ground corn its whole life. It's juicy. It's firm. Um, tender. Tender. But what do we think of? Let me try the dark meat here. Mm -hmm. mm. How's that taste? Really good. We're definitely going to enjoy this. <clears throat> so, what, what do we think of the overall compared to store bought chicken? It tastes better. There's more of a flavorful taste to it. What about you, Mom? I haven't eaten that much of it. <laughs> well, we're doing a taste test. My, I've got the wings. My favorite part of the chicken. You want a piece of breast? Yeah. Yeah, please. Try that. Try that piece. drumstick's meaty too. It's not like um, it's not where you can just eat it in a few bites and it's gone. There's a lot of meat on this. Okay, so what are our thoughts on the Cornish Cross? Good. Mm -hmm. Good. What are our thoughts if we're going to raise them again? Mm, that might be another video. <laughs> Alrighty, we'll uh, that's our taste test and our judgment on uh, the Cornish Cross raising them at home yep. versus store ball. Thank you. See y'all later. Y'all have a great day and uh, raise something for your family. <laughs> if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and grow something for your family.